You know, this time of the year, I don't mind it so bad. Although it's cold, you know, it's winter is upon us, you know, but you know one thing it does bring. It, bl it brings that flu and sick season with it. And guess what, guys? I had it. Last couple days, I've been down for the count, my friends. I just said, I've been, I have not been able to watch YouTube videos. I haven't been able to do anything. But while I was sitting there, in that time period, trying to stay warm, fight my fever and stuff, something came to mind. I'm sitting there, and I'm trying to stay warm, and every time I move my blankets, I seen the static shock. The static in the air. You know what I'm talking about? Whenever it gets cold this time of year, the air gets dried out, you get that static charge. Got me thinking, hmm, I wonder if I could actually capture a static shock on video. Well, guess what? I did. Yep, I caught that static shock, but I'm not going to show it to you until towards the end of the video. I want to talk about some things first, okay? Just bear with me. Well, in order for me to catch that, it wasn't easy. Oh no, it took many attempts, many tries, but we got it. Now, I haven't seen the editing, or the, I haven't seen the footage yet, but I know it's there. So I've seen this actual little lightning strike. Yeah, I wish she on my finger, but I cut my finger a little bit ago. But it was just a little bit of a lightning strike, and it was my wife that got it. Yeah. Now, you guys all have done this when you was kids, and even when you're adults, I do it now. You know, it gets dry, the conditions are just perfect. You scoot your feet on the carpet. You know. <laughs> yeah, just like that. You know we've all played that game. Gotcha. <laughs> Also, some bad points to this too, guys. If you ever go to fill up your car full of gas and fumes get in the air, you don't want that spark to happen then, no. Blow yourself up. Now, there is a few things that you can do to prevent the static shock, okay? One, you can wear all cotton shirts. That helps out a little bit. Two, you can put moisture in your air, you know? We have to when we fire up that stove. That dries out our house like right now. Three, for your clothes, use bounty sheets or something. Make sure, I don't know why I just smelt that. I didn't wash this jacket and bounty, with bounty sheets. Just, just go with it. But there are some things you can do. You know, and I will tell you, in about January or so, you know, or so, you're getting tired of that static shock. Sometimes I can pet my dog and the wind's gonna goof up. I'll be back. Well, not only the wind's goofing up the program, it's starting to sprinkle too. So I'll go ahead and kind of finish this up and get to what this video is about. I know you guys are like, about time, Bubba, geez. But sometimes when I pet the dog, I feel little shocks. But anyway, guys, it is my own darn fault for getting sick. The other day, I was just getting over a serious head cold. And I felt a little good, and I went outside with no more than just a t-shirt on and worked. And I sweat it and sweat it, and that's what happened. So, without further delay, guys, a big thank you to my wife because she's the one that did it for me. Here's the static shock. Now, I'm going to show it in real time. Now, I'm going to slow the booger down as far as I can. Now, I'll be back tomorrow on my scheduled videos, but it's going to take me all day just to catch up on my YouTube. And, Adam, if you're watching this, I got your email. Give me a couple days to work on that, and I see what I can pull off there. Alright, until next time, enjoy!